Today we're at the very interesting Lacombe Blacksmith Shop Museum. This building was built in 1902 and is the oldest operating blacksmith shop in Alberta. So uh, around here we kind of have a few of the main tools of a blacksmith that, uh, while they've kind of remained the same throughout the years, we have right in front of us here the handy anvil. And so that's the thing that you'd be hitting uh, metal upon. Far back in the past, basically you would use a rock or whatever, because essentially an anvil is something you could hit something upon. In coordination along with that though, is the hammer, and so that's what you use along with a piece to help shape it. Now this here we have is a rounding hammer, but it kind of varies depending on what you want. The only thing that you wouldn't use would be a claw hammer. Over here, this piece is actually one of the three most important because you can't really form metal if it's not hot. And this is called the forge. Some people call it an oven, but no, this is a forge. And it's used to heat metal up. The, this forge actually gets to temperatures hot enough to burn metal, so that's 1550 degrees Celsius. So a lot hotter than your oven usually can get to. And so along with the forge is, uh, given how hot it can get, sometimes when handling your metal, you might need to use uh, this, which is a pair of tongs. Uh, as you can hopefully see, we have a wide variety of tongs, and their main purpose is to hold uh, the heated metal when it's uh, too small to be able to hold with your bare hands. And so if you have a piece, you'd hold your tongs in one hand, hammer in the other, and that would be able to help keep it somewhat sturdy while you're foraging because uh, A, you don't want to burn yourself, and B, you want it to be sturdy so it doesn't fling around and burn yourself in other ways. So with that, thank you for joining us, and please visit us again next week for a new video.